Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cool, kind of more advanced Megan Fox type look. So if you're interested, stick around and brace yourself because here comes my ugly face with no makeup. Hey guys, so today I was thinking like what are some legendary girl looks that I could be doing from film or whatever that people kind of research a lot or want to do and I was thinking what girl is hotter than Megan Fox in Transformers? None. So, I'm going to be doing the Megan Fox Transformers 1. Um, I'm going to be doing her makeup on my face. She looks like sweaty and hot, so I'm just going to try and get my face a little bit tanner. I'm really pale, but to do the thing, I want to be her color and I want it to look right. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to dive in and start doing some shit to my face. Okay, so I have my phone. Um, I'm going to be using this picture of Megan Fox from Transformers to copy because I think it definitely shows the makeup the best. I'm looking at it right now. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Who am I compared to you? Nothing. Ever since I came to New York City, I've been breaking out like a monstrous amount. Um, pollution is not your friend. It's not your skin's friend. It's not your lungs' friend. It's not the environment's friend. Pollution sucks and this is what it does to you. This is what pollution does. We need to stop. We need to stop right now. I can't handle my face doing this any longer. Let's start it. So I'm going to be using the Wild Rose um, Brightening Oil by Corez to start. Um, I'm putting it on before my makeup because I just want to have like a brighter complexion. Megan Fox looks super like oily in like a really good way and like just like sexy all the time in Transformers and I think to get that like look, you know. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of rub it into my face. It's a brightening oil and honestly, like you saw my face before I put it on and you see it now. That was like two drops of this. Um, and I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit now. I really like that. Anyways, then I'm going to go in on top of that with this thing I got in the mail. I've never tried this. Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I'm just going to put a little bit on. I don't want to put too much on because I already have that oil. But Oh my god. Oh my god, that smells so good. And holy shit, this smells... It smells so good! It doesn't really smell like coconut though. It's Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from Hello Fab. Safe for sensitive skin, apply evenly all over a clean face. Damn. So now I'm going in with the Amazing Cosmetics Illuminating Highlighter Primer. Um, it's in bronze, and the reason I'm doing this is because Megan Fox looks so bronzy throughout Transformers, so I feel like I need to match her vibe. I'm gonna be doing like that much of it. It might have been too much, honestly, but. So I'm just gonna kind of put it where the sun touches like in that three shape around your face like that and then across my nose because I just want to be a little bit more bronzed when I start putting all this stuff on my face. So before I go in and do brows first, um, I'm gonna go and color correct my face because like I said, I'm breaking out like a monster. <laughs> um, and I also have some crazy dark bags under my eyes. So if you're someone that, you know, break out, dark bags, you know, you just, Sometimes color correcting is like the greatest thing in the world. I'm gonna go in with my tint idol ultra wear camouflage in peach maybe. So the shade came off, but it's the shade. It's like the lighter orange one. They have a darker orange for like darker skin complexions, and they have a lighter orange if you're like me and really pale and gross. So I'm gonna be using that much. You literally need nothing. Um, it really spreads so well. That's something I love about Lancome is you need a little bit and it goes such a long way. Next I'm going to be using the yellow. This one says yellow. It's still there because it's newer. Because I got this when I started breaking out in New York City. <laughs> okay. I got the orange. I got the yellow going on. Now my face is, you know, more toned out. I don't have the dark spots or the red spots, which are not your friend. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and do my brows. So. Here's my eyebrow. I'm gonna go in. I'm not gonna brush it up. A lot of people brush it up first, which is fine. I don't. I just leave it so I can see where I need to fill in. So if you're someone that maybe overdoes your brow a little bit, this is a really, really good way to go about doing your brow. Now that I fold in where I had those like balder areas or the lighter areas, I just go up with the spoolie. And that's what my brow looks like. It's super, super easy and simple. It's a really good way just to see where you need extra help. So I'm gonna be going in with Prescriptive's concealer brush. It looks like this. It's a really, really 
thick bristled brush it's really dense which i love for concealer because i love to just kind of wipe it off i'm gonna go in with the amazing cosmetics duo foundation concealer um thing and this is the shade i know i'm light medium i want to say light medium uh light golden sorry and i'm just gonna go in with the concealer and i'm gonna go in with the lighter Concealer, I'm gonna do the shape tape and I'm gonna be basic for a quick sec here. I'm using light medium honey and I'm gonna go right underneath my brow bone just to give me that little lift um, because Megan Fox has really, really just sculpted ass eyebrows and I want that look. And if you, you know, if you look, I have shadows underneath. So if I add a lighter color, it's gonna be way more obvious where my brow starts. kind of see the difference this one it looks like my bone structure is higher because this has a little bit more darkness so it looks like it's sunken deeper in my face and we don't want that we want our bone structure to look snatch I'm gonna go in with a foundation that's way too tan on me because we're doing the Megan Fox thing I gotta look tan that'd be wrong if I wasn't I need some apple cider vinegar Wakes me up. Okay. Set up coffee. Love it. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go in. So I'm using Georgia Money Luminous Silk Foundation in shade eight. It is so, so, so not my shade. So if you are my shade, this is not your shade. This is Megan Fox's shade. And I just I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm definitely just gonna love that. I love this is like my favorite part of makeup when you just get disappointed. Alright. And now I'm going to go in with the Tant Idol Ultra Wear by Lancome, up to 24 hour wear and comfort. Sunscreen, 15%, love that. Or 15 SPF, my bad. This is 335 Bisque C. This is more so my color right now. So if you're wondering what I use, this is way closer. So now I'm going to mix them in together on my hand. I love, love, love this combination. I mix these two a lot. Because it is, I would say the Lancome one is 24 hour wear. I don't, I honestly don't think it's kidding. I've, I used to wear this when I was in like high school at parties and I'd go to bed with my makeup on and I'd wake up the next day and my foundation would still be on. And then the Luminous Silk is Luminous Silk. So it's kind of more translucent. So if you put them together, it stays on longer, but it has like that dewy quality of the Giorgio Mani. So it's a really good pair if you're, you know, into that. This is so going to be so dark on me, but I'm just going to live with it. I don't really care. Okay, so I have my foundation on my hand, and I'm just gonna sit and let it dry for a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna use it right away. I don't really need to. It's not in my immediate concerns. I'm gonna go in and do my contouring first. So shape tape again, I'm using light medium honey. And I just put that much. I do not put a lot of concealer, um, especially if it's shape tape. And I use my fingers. So with shape tape, it blends. You do not need a lot, like you really do not. Especially if you're using your fingers because you're not wasting any product. You can just use that much and be totally set. So bring it down your nose a little bit by your mouth um, and back up. You want to snatch your face, so keep the concealer above your cheekbone and just go up. I use my fingers just because I think it wastes less product and I think it sinks it into your skin a little bit better. So that's what I do with a little bit on my nose because my nose is red. Okay, so there's my concealer, and now I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in shade Chestnut for my contour. It looks like this. I'm going to go in with this It Cosmetics brush. Like, yeah, It Cosmetics number 7. It looks like this. I love this brush. It's kind of one of my holy grail items, I would say. Um, now I just put the, so there's the foundation I'm going to be using, and there is the contour shade I'm using, and I'm just going to go in with the brush from off my hands and put a line doesn't that look great it looks epic love this look um, one of the coolest things about doing your foundation after your contour is your contour doesn't need to be spot on it could just be kind of like really harshly put on because your foundation is going to cover a lot of it anyways so I really just don't you know, put it where you want it to go, and then you don't really need to blend it or anything. You can literally leave it like this, and then put your foundation on over it, and it kind of makes the contour a little bit harsher, which I like, but still super duper natural. 
whenever I'm breaking out and I contour after my foundation, I feel like I can just see the acne so much more. So by doing this first, you're kind of eliminating that possibility of being able to see, you know, your acne once you already have your foundation and everything set. But this is kind of where I'm at right now. I look like a psycho, but it's going to look really dope in like five seconds. So now I'm going to go in with my damp blender. This is from It Cosmetics. I'm going to go in with my little concoction I made on the back of my hand. It's been drying for a really long time. Um, and just plop it over. That just totally solved all of my problems. You know, the Transformers, like Fox. It's a really natural, dewy, seductive skin complexion. Can a skin complexion be seductive? Yes, it can, because Megan Fox is this. So for blush, I'm gonna be using the Blush Duo. Um, Papaya Don't Peach. Oh, I love that. I love, what? Papaya Don't Peach, bitch. What is that? I think it's like 92 degrees right now here. Ugh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. There's a lot of other problems. I'm okay. <laughs> my apple cider vinegar just went down the wrong pipe that was like the coolest feeling I've ever felt and that was 100% sarcasm <laughs> nope alright here we go it's eye time <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Golden Gala's palette are we ready are we prepared this is what it looks like it's gorgeous um, Golden Goddess I got this like two three years ago and it's been one of my favorite palettes I've ever had since. Um, so let's get going with the eyes. I'm just going to put this prime color. Okay, so I'm using this just halfway into my eyelid. I want to just give my eye like a little bit of um, a brightening effect at the front because I want that cat effect. So I want the front to be a little bit more noticeable than to fade into darkness. <laughs> All right. So that's what I'm doing with the prime. And I am using this brush. It looks like this. It's from Prescriptives. You can't get it anymore. I'm really sorry. But it is, it's an eyeshadow brush. That's literally what it says. Okay. So now I'm going to go in. <laughs> Let's look at Megan Fox. And get really self-conscious one more time. Oh my god! My face compared to hers is so ugly! 